Welcome to the enrollment tutorial through the ESETRE portal. In this video, we shall take you step by step through the enrollment process for bachelor's degree programs. If you're a master's student, click on this video to learn more about how to enroll for your program. Please note that it is highly recommended to start and complete the enrollment process on the ESETRE portal upon arrival in Messina. Before we begin, make sure that you have on hand the following documents as you will need to upload them during this enrollment process. Your admissions letter, your pre-enrollment summary, which you can obtain from your university portal, a valid passport, a declaration of value document or CHIMIA certificate, your codice fiscale, or fiscal code document, a copy of your residence permit, or the receipt for the appointment for your residence permit. Let us begin. From the Google homepage, enter unime.it. Once you have arrived on the web page, navigate to the top right-hand corner and click Login. From there, navigate to the bottom and click on Servizi Online Studenti. Go to the top right hand corner and click menu. Choose the English language. In this section, complete your personal information. Where it says Italian identification number, this is automatically generated in the event that you do not have one. However, please note that this is not the official Codice Fiscale or Fiscal Code you will have to apply for the official fiscal code or codice fiscale either through the consular authorities in your country or upon arrival in Messina. In this section, enter your current address details. After you enter the password of your choice, you have successfully completed the registration. The next stage is now login. Once you have logged in, Click on the blue button. Here, you are to enter the details of your identity document, particularly your passport. Now we can begin the enrollment process. Click on Home, Registrar's Office, and then Enrollment. Select the standard matriculation type, Open Access Degree Program, and for Bachelor's First Cycle Course, Bachelor's Degree. Now, in this section, pay very close attention because while all of the programs that are in English are on this page, some of them are under Italian names. So, for example, you find that in English, you will see Marine Biology and Blue Biotechnologies, Business Management, as well as Transnational and European Legal Studies. However, for other English programs, such as civil engineering, data analysis, and political sciences and international relations, you will find them under Italian names. For example, to find data analysis, go to Informatica, go forward, and you will find data analysis. To find political sciences and international relations, scroll to the bottom, click on this section, go forward, and you'll find political sciences and international relations. In this case, we will go for data analysis. So we look for Informatica, go forward, and we select data analysis. and we confirm the course. After confirming your degree choice, as well as your personal details, you will now land on the additional declarations page where you will see two stipulations. The first one is the career linked to double entry. Go ahead and select no, as this is your first enrollment. The second stipulation you'll see is, I am a PA employee. In this section, select no. Go ahead 
and confirm this. In this next section, you are supposed to upload either a copy of your residence permit or if you do not have your physical residence permit, you should upload the appointment receipt that you receive from the post office when applying for the residence permit. You are only able to obtain this receipt once you are now here in Italy. This is why we highly recommend to start the enrollment process once you arrive in Italy. In specific cases in which you are to complete the enrollment before applying or receiving the visa, you can upload your passport. So, if you have your residence permit, you can upload it under limited term. And if you have the receipt of your residence permit appointment, you can upload it under appointment request. And in specific cases in which you are to complete your enrollment before applying for or receiving the visa, you can upload your passport under limited term. And then you complete the corresponding issue date and expiry date of the document that you would have uploaded. In the event that you do not have your residence permit or your appointment receipt at the time of enrollment, you should still finalize your enrollment by uploading the receipt when you have it on the Unime International website. So you access the Unime International website, you scroll down and you click on Life in Messina and you find Residence Permit. And on that web page, in the important notice section, you will find the link where you can upload the receipt when you do eventually get it. In the next section entitled Disability Declarations, you are then able to upload any form of documentation that you have that indicate any disability you may have. If you do not have any, you can just move forward without uploading anything. The next section requires you to upload a personal photo of yourself. Please make sure that you pay attention to the dimensions of the file required, as well as the format of that file. This next section requires you to upload several documents, so please pay careful attention. These documents include your high school diploma, as well as your fiscal code document that you could have obtained from the embassy. If you do not have this yet, then upload your pre-enrollment summary from the University Italy portal. However, this is not an official document, so you will have to apply for the Codice Fiscale or Fiscal Code upon arrival in Messina and finalize your enrollment by updating it. This is also why we highly recommend for you to start and complete the enrollment process on SE3 once you arrive in Messina. You also need to upload your Declaration of Value or Chimia Certificate, as well as your Acceptance Letter from the University of Messina. In this next section of Enrollment Data, we have two parts. The first part, you are supposed to select the number of installments that you will use to pay the university fee. You can either pay in two installments or in four installments. Make sure that you pay attention to the deadlines of these options. Take note that the first installment, which is the enrollment fee, you will need to pay during this process of enrollment. In the next part, this has to do with the student's employment status. So if we scroll below, you will see that we can click on work status. Here you can select the first option which indicates that you do not work and are a student full-time. And then just below that, you can select whether you will pay the tuition fee in two parts or in four parts. In this next part, choose the option of full-time student. In this summary, check that all the data that you have entered is correct. 
as you have the option to go back and edit or modify anything that you may have made a mistake on. If everything is perfect, we move on. At the University of Messina, tuition is paid according to your country of origin, which ranges from 156 to 506 euros. The exact breakdown of tuition divided by country of origin can be found in the description. For more information on how tuition works at our university, please feel free to check out the dedicated web page on the Onime International website. To continue on this page, go to Self-Certification Management. Enter the self-certification data. Click Yes. Go forward. Submit self-certification. Click OK. And then go back to the enrollment procedure. Go forward. Finally, confirm that all your enrollment information is correct and go to the payment print page. Navigate to this left hand side, go to the bottom right and click pay with Pagopa. And here you're able to make your payment. And this concludes the enrollment procedure for your bachelor's program.